But, so, do, but doesn't the Book of Mormon say that God cursed white people with dark skin for their wickedness? Doesn't isn't that in your scriptural canon? It depends in the, in the Book on your of it depends on your interpretation. What's your I've interp- never read it what's that your, way. What's your interpretation? Well, there's there's scriptures in the Old Testament where certain individuals say there's a skin of blackness upon me, that is totally uh, symbolic of being in a state of d- distress. King or Solomon, I am black, but come Leo. Yeah. So what exactly. did God do to the Lamanites in the Book of Mormon? in your interpretation? Did he not turn their skin dark because of no. their wickedness? Even no. though the book says that? No, no, I, I think it was a spiritual mark. Just like with Cain, we don't know. But it know. says skin of blackness in the Book of Mormon. It says yes, skin it's of an, blackness. it's an idiom. There are many idioms that are mistranslated. It does not feel convenient to call it an idiom. No. Just so we're on the same page, idiom means a phrase or expression with a meaning differing from the literal meaning of its parts. So there are a few things that I want to highlight from Mormon history. Apart from the verse in question, which says that the Lamanites were cursed with the skin of blackness, this same idea shows up multiple times in Mormon history. In a letter penned by Joseph Smith to Oliver Cowdery on April 9th of 1836, Joseph Smith said that slavery was found in the Holy Bible, pronounced by a man who was perfect, and that it would be a lasting monument of the decree of Jehovah. And then he shared the verses in Genesis chapter 8 that says, Cursed by Canaan, a servant of servants, etc., etc. And let's not forget the book of Moses, where it says that the seed of Cain were all black. And the character of the book of Abraham facsimile that was black, Joseph Smith deemed a servant, but which was in actuality the god Anubis. And in 1860, Brigham Young said that the Lord put a mark upon Cain, which was the flat nose and black skin. And in 1882, John Taylor reiterated that Cain's seed continued through Ham, because it was necessary that the devil should have a representation upon the earth as well as God. Although Joseph Smith allowed a black man named Elijah Abel to have the priesthood, in 1908, the prophet Joseph F. Smith claimed that Abel's priesthood ordination was declared null and void by the prophet Joseph Smith himself. And in 1939, one of the 12 apostles, George F. Richards said, the Negro is an unfortunate man. He has been given a black skin. And this was because they were not valiant in the fight in heaven and that they were neutral in the war. And the Lowry Nelson letters of 1947, is an excellent reminder where Prophet George Albert Smith and his counselors all signed their names to a letter that said, It has been the doctrine of the church, never questioned by any of the church leaders, that the Negroes are not entitled to the full blessings of the gospel. And this list of teachings from the Mormon prophets and apostles concerning black skin just goes on and on. So explain it one more time how the doctrine of black skin is an idiom 